Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to more explore. Exploring. Exploring. So we last time we got Toxify. Which is uh which good. is yeah, that's really good. It in this game it inflicts disease and sap. I'm just really fucking wild in that it's it's wild that there is a disease spell in this game. Like, what are we going to fight that that's a spell that we can, that that they felt comfortable giving us? Well, the uh, the big bomb king in the uh, Salica Woods is very. It's very good to have a disease on him because he would like renews like four or five times in the entire fight. Yeah. So, like, having disease on him is always, like, one of the, not necessary, but it's one of those things that's just... Hey, you want a strat? Yeah. Like, having the reverse remedy... Just back there. It's a, it's a mimic. Oh. Yeah, the... They have the Look bright at... colors to lure and the, uh... Ah. Yeah, that little gem right in the middle. But yeah, look at you knowing so much about games and shit. <laughs> More bombs. Dude, the bombs don't aggro unless we like actually piss them off, right? Yep, they don't aggro unless we attack them or if we use magic around them. Uh, and they're and they're impartial to magic that already exists, like uh, your never-ending float. I hear a skeleton. There's Skeletor right there. Level 38 dead bones. We should not be here. <laughs> like in the base game, I'm normally like, like okay, this is this is technically doable, manageable if we play it smart. In this mod, it's like no, everything can kill you if you even get spotted. What about Balthia? Uh, can Balthia hit him for like 11,020 damage? 1120. Technically, yes. <laughs> Just throw potions and then run screaming. How much HP does it have, though? Oh, it has 14,000. 14,000. Uh, that, that would take it, a lot of potions. That would take 12 high potions. Now, if it's not immune to Phoenix Downs... <laughs> Are we going to roll Phoenix Downs at this thing? I don't know. Like the base game, a lot of undeads are actually immune to Phoenix Downs lo later in the game. Big funny if true. Just so you don't like do this. Yeah. Unfortunate. He's immune to Phoenix Downs. Run for your life. Oh god. Oh he's god. Casting Blizz Aura. <laughs> he's gonna keep chasing us till he casts it or until we leave the room. Run, okay, shoot, there we go. Alright. So. Can't do that. Uh, doing this solo just reduces the chance of being detected, so. Oh, God. Why are there oh, two yeah. of them over there? This is getting ridiculous. There's three of them. No, there are two of them. Where did you guys come from? You've angered them. He called his friends. And I don't think we can poison dead enemies. No, no that's like the that's like the general undead thing. Nick. It's just not, that's not a thing. Wait! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. The bombs don't aggro us, right? Yeah, unless we cast magic by them and attack them. Wait! <laughs> well, now they're red, I think. That one's still green. That one's green. Okay, that one's aggroed. That one's angry. I don't like angry. Let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy because, like, 
<laughs> Usually it's you that gets to give me shit for mistakes like that. Like, we just talked about this, Robin. Like, literally moments ago. <laughs> I forgot that the bombs are still there. <laughs> Today, you were stupid. No. <laughs> It was it was tactical aggroing. <laughs> tactical aggroing that put you to six. Yes. Now these are level eight. Yeah, these you might actually be able to kill. See. <laughs> Although I probably wouldn't have attacked them solo. I mean, they're doing like twenty damage. I mean, still. Yeah, we can... Let's see if these guys can drop the pendant. It's not the level 8 ones that drop it, it's the level 38s. So we yeah. need to build off the... Uh, from the lower levels first. Mm -hmm. And they're just easier to kill, so we can just... And the best way to build chain levels is to uh, just kill them and leave. Because pick, picking up the uh, the loot actually uh, prolongs the uh, the leveling of the chain. Huh? If you pick up the loot, um, then um, it makes it harder to level up your chain. So you don't really want to pick up the loot to like chain level four. You you, you can't see my face right now but i i just want you to know that i am very confused by what you said because <laughs> it's like I, I'm, I'm a software engineer i have to think about i can't not think about this from that perspective i can't i don't turn that off so i'm i'm sitting here thinking what about that makes sense programmatically and i can't think of anything and it's very frustrating oh we'll get fun out <laughs> I mean, that's just how it works. But why? I don't know. They programmed it that way. Like th th that's. Uh... Like look, that like like, like, like look up, though. like look up, look up on the wiki how chaining works. No, I believe it, it explains it better than I can. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't believe you. It's just like. No, like look it up. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> it should be on the wiki. There are two types of chain. The player can chain a nuke to killing the same time uh, mobs to obtain more loot and drops. Uh, the player can chain their quickening attacks to death. That's not what we care about. The player can build a chain by killing enemies of the same species. Genus breaks down monsters into seven types, which are broken down into different species or classes. As a player kills more enemies of the same species, Chain grows, showing a number above the party above the party's ATB and HP member bars on the lower right. Chaining items will make it more likely that they will drop rare items, and make it possible they'll drop multiple items and or one of the same item. As chain level increases, the number will flash when the next stage is reached, signifying the icon represented uh, signifying by the icon representing the dropped items changing from a sack to a silver coin to a gold coin to a large gold coin. At higher chain levels, loot items may bestow beneficial effects on the party loot picked up. These bonuses uh, include 10% recovery of HP and MP and bestowing Protect or Shell. At chain level 0, there's no chance of bonuses, but at level 1, there's a 10%, uh, blah 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 blah. All drops fall into 5 categories. This is weird. Basically, you just kill things over and over again without picking up oh, their yeah. loot until you get to level chain chain level four. Oh. And then... What? Time to time, the player may notice the chain of a flashing set of five percent at a time. Mini guy uh, is influenced by the player picking up the loot enemies drop. Every time the player picks up the loot, the hitting counter towards the next will go down by what? So that was actually programmed intentionally. Yes. <laughs> Those assholes.
I mean, it doesn't have any big rip, rip, repercussions because, like, if you don't pick up items, then you get chain level four very easily, and you can just make up all of the the items lost like really quickly. Yeah, but like, that, that's literally player hostile. Is it? Yeah, because your odds of getting more items decrease over time. Also, I just noticed, uh. The explicit experience, like, this is actually just a cool thing I just noticed in the game. Uh, when Ash killed one of the frogs solo, it said that, like, the frogs uh, provided 200 experience. However, when you kill the frogs with three people, it says 66. So that the number is actually being divided in real time. Uh, so that the number you see is what's getting sent to everybody. Yep. Like, that's just actually cool. So, like, I, I thought that would be 200. It like, I assumed that it would just say 200. And then... Behind the scenes, the game will draw up that 200 are all active party members. Nah. That's act that's actually really cool. Like I like shit like that. That's like that's player fr like that that's, that's very player friendly. See chain level four. Now we can pick things up. And, well, now uh, you're not chain level three. No. You don't level down. It's not how it works. Ah, okay. So it's just like. The counter towards uh, ranking up goes down if you pick up loot. However, once you rank up, then it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's still though, like... That's not something a player would, like, intrinsically guess. The, exactly, but the thing is, even if you pick up all of the loot, it still goes up eventually. Like, that's the thing, it goes up on its own when you kill things. It just takes a lot longer. So it goes up more than it would go down every time you pick up loot? Technically. Like, right. there's a certain threshold that the game will determine, okay, it's time to level up the chain. Even if you've picked up, like, all the loot. Okay. That That's less player hostile than I expected. So, like, it, like that, that that's fine. Like, if you want to build chains as soon as possible, just don't pick up the loot. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Time, Leave me alone. Time to go, fuck lord. They're coming. Is he gonna hit me and then run away? Oh, no, he's just gonna, just gonna run away. He wanted you to know he could've. <laughs> he was stancing. He was bluffing. I will never get over. Uh, like, I still think this is the stance, is probably like the rawest thing in Dragon Ball Fighters. Mm hmm. Like, get, hitting someone with the fucking Tokyo Tamale is just still really, really good. True. We got the poison. Time to that, go! That two hits, though. Time to go, fuck boy! Ash has nice health though. Nice. No more nice. I swear regen ticks faster in this mod. Apparently it doesn't. Interesting. Uh, I, I might be misunderstanding something that he said, but like... I, I know it... Like, gives... Up to level in HP per tick. But I don't remember it ticking like constant like like that. But I'm probably misremembering. Yeah. Anyways. Ash. Ash is about to die. <sighs> Got the immobilize off though. That's all that matters. Okay, the frog's leaving. Rogue. Froge. Bro dangers cat. I I hate. Can we put you to sleep? Yes we can. Okay, that's good. Sleep is good. Uh, why haven't why, why didn't we do this before? I, I think landing. we tried, but uh we failed. Yeah, I wasn't landing before. Like, as long as nobody hits the toad, it'll be fine. 
Right, the poison will take care of him. Yeah. I'll put that one to sleep. Wait, no, not that one. That one's already asleep. This one. The one that's immobilized. Pain. Basically, what we're looking for is the indigo pendant. Yeah. Which basically... Oh. Oh. Which basically m makes all status inflicting spells... A uh, hundred percent hit, which is uh, you know really good, yes. especially with that toxify thing we just grabbed. Mm-hmm. So, oh. So if Dick it head's still alive. Yeah. So if it does it still exist on these guys, then uh, it would be very nice. But uh. That was a terrifying visual. <laughs> okay, so... At least we still get experience off of it. Yeah, true. God, God, the fact that that means, uh... That, I just realized, the fact that that number was 800 means that all of these guys are literally dropping 2400 experience. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. You could literally tag out any single party member, like, right before the, they die, and then just free level any one character if you wanted. True. Fuck, do that right now, give it to Vaughn. Okay. And Vaughn does have blind and poison. So. Do you want to risk that? No. Vaughn, please. Turn your do gambits you off. I told you camp it's off. <laughs> <laughs> Just free level for Vaughn. <laughs> hey guys, what am I doing here? Oh, cool level. Neat. <laughs> the girls. We have set up a complicated strategy that involves all three of us working in tandem. Pinello shall keep us alive while Freya puts them to sleep and Ash will immobilize them. Vaughn walking in the last second. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what if we just steal from him? What if we just steal I Couldn't Couldn't steal. Should we try and we should we be trying to do that from behind? There we go. Oh. Antidote. He's just vibing. Not blinded yet. Now he is. Okay, oh. Vaughn might actually be able to solo this now. No, we just need to keep him aggroed. And we'll give him slow just cause. It missed. So did he. Nice. Damn! Vaughn, please. There we go. Now he's slowed. He's... Vaughn's actually doing pretty good by, on his own by this. Zero damage. Zero! <laughs> Wait. Can... do we still have our... Uh... I guess we, we could try Assassin's Dagger. If this works, I'm going to be upset. Yeah. I don't remember what the chances of Doom is. 600. 600! Yeah. Time oh. to go! Oh god. Well, it's dead. Okay. Holy fucking shit. 25. <laughs> what, what, what did that put Vaughn at? Like, how close is Vaughn to a level now? Uh. 2022. Oh my god. 
Literally two frogs levels five. Can't do anything to the turtle. I think another bug is that if poison kills an enemy of another species, if you have a high chain le level, then it retains yeah. that chain level for that enemy. Makes so like sense. if we so if poison killed that turtle, it would drop a level four loot drop. Even though it's a different race. Yeah, I think that's I think that's how it works. I remember that, that being the case for something. It might be break though. Was that fixed in Zodiac? I don't think so. I think it's only for break actually because break doesn't give experience when something dies from it. Yeah. That would make sense. So, therefore, it doesn't technically count as a kill, but you still get the loot for it. It seems like Vaughn's doing better. It's not, it seems like Vaughn's more accurate with that than, uh, any of the girls. For some reason. This is just bullying. Yeah. I oh think, God. Uh, I don't think they can be doomed. Or oh, if they can be, Vaughn's really rolling badly. Well, hey, steal them. True. Nice. Give me your money. I'll cut you like a fish. I just kind of thought about something, cause uh, I, like I've just been like, I don't know, I don't know what about this game made me think about Bravely Default 2. But uh, how weird is it that <laughs> that's that's not gonna stop being funny to me? <laughs> I want you to know that. Yeah, his next level is 49:30. Two frogs. <laughs> that like this like this picture levels Vaughn. Yeah. This levels the bond. We're finally catching him up, at least. Right. But, uh... Yeah, no, so... I was I was just thinking about, like, how fucking weird it is that, uh... In Bravely 2, Red Mage gets its own spells, and I get that's because of just the way they did spells in that game, but that is so weird. Mm-hmm. Like, red magic is a thing now. True. It's kind of weird, though. Reminds me of, like, that. Oh, nice double poison. Nice. Yeah, it's like that one fucking billion Mandy episode. You fools! You messed with the natural order! Well, technically, 14 has its own skill spells too. It, it does and it doesn't. Verfire. Like, no. Th that That's fire. <laughs> the red mages are calling it something different. I'm a red mage. I'm not gonna sit here and act like that's not black. Verholy. <laughs> I, I, the only thing upset that upsets me about red mage consistently in uh, 14 is that it's not Verscorch. Like, you don't get to cheat at the end. Verse. You don't get, you don't get to go ver arrow and ver thunder, ver stone, and then move on to ver fire and ver whatever. What is it, even? It's... It's arrow and... Jolt. Thank you. Jolt. No, Jolt is, Jolt is the basic. Oh. Ver fire, uh, ver arrow, ver thunder, ver stone. No, ver, ver thunder is the AOE. No, it's not. That's ver thunder two and ver arrow two. Right, 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 right. So, uh, which they yeah, got, it's... which they got this expansion. <laughs> they didn't. Yeah. They didn't have it in Stormblood. They didn't have an AOE in Stormblood. They just had. What the... They just had the other one, I think. Scatter. Yeah, I think they just had Scatter. Oh my god! 
that that's probably why I hated Red Mage back in the day. It's just like th this feels like an incomplete class. It's because it was. Uh oh, Bond's dead. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll just bring him back. Vaughn is now alive. Vaughn will live. Pointed, Pointed horn. horn. Yeah, no, that, that explains why Red Mage felt like an incomplete class in Stormbloods, because it fucking was. <laughs> Although I, I shouldn't, I guess I can't talk. Uh, we, these are the guys that left Paladin without a gap closer for three years. I know. <laughs> I have no idea how to go. Nice! They still drop it. Alright. Improves chance to try it with magics. Alright. All magics? Yes. Correct. So. Now we just Where's... need to unlock it. Black Belt. Please tell me Fran can... I don't think Fran can learn it. Oh, uh, no, you, you gotta keep looking. No, it's... Not one she learns. No, come on, the, the check everything. If Fran can't learn it, that is fine. Because hopefully Ash can learn it. Ash. Where are her accessories at? There it is. There it is. And we have enough. I guess for we're it. taking. Oh wow, yeah, that's cheating. Nice job. We did it. It, it, it we did. We we can give her. Did she get toxified? No, I don't think so. That's a that's also a really nice uh, speed bump. Has it? Splat Tim. He has it. Now, it's not the best thing in the world, but it means, hopefully, if it still works the way that it should, it means, as God intended, that as long as something isn't immune, you should be able to... Yeah, she should Bad be able example. to at least hit water gun. Water gun. I don't like water gun. Stop casting. <laughs> He's doing it. I think it's too late for Ash. He's still casting it. Okay, he just gave up. Alright, let's not... Not for these guys. Not for that guy. Alright. So, basically... Oh, no, no, not you. Not you. This Wrong fucking dude. Just means... Mobilize. Mobilize. Nice! A hundred percent chance, I th like it. Just you know, you're immune to sap. That means we know you're immune to sap, and I think you're immune to disable. But we'll do it anyway. Yep, immune to disable. We can just sit here and stress test enemies. Yeah. So, and I think Ash is the only one that can use it. At least that's what it looked like. Yeah. Which is not terrible. No, oh, yeah, Ash gets plenty of things that's just like that's that's still uh that's still solid. Yeah. Do we wanna look to see if anyone else can? I think it was accessories nineteen. I think so. If Vaughn can learn it, that'd be cool. That'd be really tight. Okay, where's where's your accessories, Vaughn? Argyle, Battle Harness. He gets accessory 16. 16, 18, 18 20. 20. 
Ah, uh, he just misses it. He cookie cutters it. Yeah. Like, this mod, I think, makes it so that only certain characters can learn certain accessories instead of having all of them learn all of the accessories. We're looking for accessories 19. Yeah, no, you don't get it either. I kind of expected both of you not to get it, like, out of all of them. Yeah. I'm sad that Fran doesn't get it, though. Yeah, pain. Like, Agony even. like, being able to inflict poison 100% of the time, silence, blind, sleep. Toxify. Toxify. Like, there's a good, there's a god, there's a goddamn good reason why she can't have it. Unfortunately, but... I guess that's fair. <laughs> But we have it. That's all that matters. We got what we came for, and uh... <laughs> He's got accessories 18. Oh, there's his accessories. Accessories 15. Nah. He doesn't Pain. have. Wait, hang on, I saw accessories 21 up there. Oh, 21. Oh, he can get the, uh, the other thing. The... Oh, yeah, he can't he can get the, uh, the other way to uh, apply that. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look like he can get accessories. Yeah, may as well get him some shields. Yeah, with the fucking 200 points we have. Yep. Uh, what armor's... Eh, I think armor's good for now. And then, I guess, Penelo? Uh, Penelo? Watch Penelo, I'll be able to have it. That wouldn't even make any sense. I know, that's why I'm saying watch it. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Intercession. We could start going for people's quickenings. Like, we're around that time when that's almost the thing we can start looking at doing. Maybe. I'd rather... You'd rather keep, a uh, fleshing out kit? And, uh... Yeah, gear? like, here's a musk stick that we have, but don't have the license, didn't have the license for it. Like, we're about to, and I think we're about to get Kiraga, too. At some oh point. So... Like, I, I have no problem with just fleshing out kit. I'm just looking at those and I'm like, I know those are good. Yeah. And more accessories isn't terrible. Nah. And golden amulet because more license points. And for Vaughn, what do we want He's for a sky Vaughn? pirate. I hate that Vaughn's class is sky pirate because, like, no the fuck he isn't. He is in the sequel. This isn't the sequel! It could be the sequel. <laughs> Look, you know, if someone decides to mod Zodiac Age to include the story of Revenant Wings, I think it will be, like, the most popular mod of all time. I wish. Like, that would just get so much fucking clout. Like, everyone's just like, God damn, you really went and got a fucking voice cast for the entire goddamn game. That'd be cool. Blowfish. I would audition for Vaughn. Do it. I don't think I could play both of you. We'll give I, you I'm focus. Not... And then we'll give him Frey Kugel. Ah, yes. <laughs> I had to make the joke. I, I am legally required. I don't like battle. What's what's that 65 down there? Shield no, block? like the, the, the 65. It Adrenaline. is the number. Adrenaline. I hate those skills, because, like, I like the idea, but also skills that pop off only when you're in critical and that turn off when you're out of critical just don't really jive with me. Like, that's why I like Red Mage and uh, Bravely Default. It's just like, 
if you go into uh, HP critical, you get plus 900% crit chance. So, if you can live long enough to heal that off, boy howdy! <laughs> well, it's... These are, these are more meant to be used with Last Stand, which is... Which basically halves almost all damage when you're in critical. Yeah. So, like, it's better when it's used alongside Last Stand. Give, give him the accessories three. Argyle. I mean, Battle Lore is still good. Ooh. Accessory six for the Golden Amulet. And then one Battle Lore, I guess. Just means he does more damage. Yeah, like, marginally more damage, but more damage is more damage. Now for Balfir. Vega. It's called Balrog in Japan. <laughs> no, no. I still get a, I still get a fucking kick out of that. Like it's the naming fuck up is one of my favorite pieces of Street Fighter trivia, and it will never not be. Mhm. Mm like it's so bad that international tournaments just call them three completely separate things, just so everyone can fucking agree. Oh yeah. What's the Rose Corsage? Uh, I think it's Silence Immunity. Which our Balthier really... doesn't really need. Yeah, like... That's a dead slot for Balthier. Get more Phoenix down. Yeah, just make, making Balthier even more of an item slot does not strike me as a bad thing. I mean, he is the item slot. That's what I'm saying. Like, make him even more of an item slut. Good Double charm. down on what he is. Make him, make him ring a bell. <laughs> make him ring a bell. And then have Fran move over to yeah. Toxify. <laughs> it's objectively not a smart play this early in the game, but... <laughs> yeah. Like, how, wh what's, what's the point cost on that for us right now? Uh, That's 90, 90, 180, 280. So we're looking at, like, what, three levels, maybe four? I mean, we could just go to the Esther Sands and grind. I just, like, then it wouldn't be a bad thing, and I don't even feel like it would fuck up the rest of the game balance too hard. It'd just be like, that, that'd definitely be something we'd want to off-screen. Probably, yeah. What should we give... Bosch, though he has so no many options. Do with Bosch, but like, I don't know whether it's choice paralysis or just not really knowing what I want to do with him. But like, I struggle with Bosch because I want him to have a like in my mind. I want every person to have a different role. And it just feels like Bosch has a lot of overlap with Ash, so I just feel like, well, I want to do the same thing that as we're doing with Ash, but then I don't want to do that because that's what we're doing with Ash. I mean, Ash is completely different, though. She's a time mage. Fair enough. It just feels like she kind of fills that tanky role as well. She does not fill a tanky role. She doesn't have the HP for it. Hmm, that's fair. In that case, maybe, uh, do we have any more uh, armors that we can give him right now? We can go to five, but we don't even have four yet. Yeah, like, that's kind of the problem. Because I think we get about... four next... In the Gareth. What about accessories 8 and 18? Gauntlets. And those are okay. Uh, shields 4 and 5? Oh, we're still on shields 3. Yeah. Well, I guess if we already have uh, armor 4, then, uh,. We'll get shields for it at the same time. Bone Crusher might not be a bad idea if we can buy that gambit. We don't have the gambit yet. I don't even think we can get it yet. Poop. Liquid Steel. Liquid Steel. Psycho Mantis. I think more HP is the smarter plan. Yeah. I, I like. I have. 
I'm sick of that being what we're doing with Bosh. It feels like we're just... Dude, we don't know what to do with him. And we just keep giving him more hit points. Hey, more hit points means he can take so many hits. Yeah, but he fights like a wet noodle. Not really. Like, he, he needs to survive is his thing. And just Fair giving enough. him a blood sword with yeah. instant regen is really good. You know what? That's fair. Like, blood sword on that big of an HP meter is definitely pretty good. Because re uh, regen is still based on percent. No. Right? It's based oh. on level. Ah. You gain one, point one to your, your level in HP. Ah. Uh, okay. So I mean, still, regardless. Objectively still a good thing on uh, that fucking thick wall of meat. Mm-hmm. Like, look at him. Look at that. Look at that. I, I might be underselling our boy a little bit here. That is a, that is a big wall of meat. Like, if you want someone to not die, well, maybe you have Bosch. Yeah, like, Bosch can take what now? Like, four hits from a frog? <laughs> Everyone else can only take two. I know. That's like two whole frogs. Can we cut? That That was the worst thing I've ever said, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I am like actually ashamed of that one. <laughs> okay. Next time, we'll, uh, we'll probably do some more hunts. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Alright. See ya. See ya.